If you have around $2,000 to spend on a new gaming PC build, this video is going to be for you. I will show you the perfect $2,000 PC with the RTX 4080 and the fastest CPU on the market. And I will also explain to you what this PC is capable of running on different titles. That way, you know the expected performance of this system. And if you're a beginner, that's great because I will explain everything as simple as possible. That way, you are able to understand me. All the links to this PC and more alternatives will be in the video description. That being said, let's start. First, let's talk about the most important components on a gaming system. System, the CPU and GPU combo. For the CPU we have the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D and for the GPU of course the RTX 4080. I think the RTX 4080 is a really nice high-end graphics card and you can get the AMD alternative the Radeon RX 7900 XTX but the RTX 4080 has some Nvidia features that might be interesting to you such as ray tracing performance, DLSS3 and also if you're a content creator most applications will work better with Nvidia. On a 13 game average at 4K resolution, the RTX 4080 was able to average 111 FPS, which is a really high number considering it was on high to ultra settings on different type of games. So if you want to play easier to run titles, these are more CPU demanding games. And remember we have the fastest CPU on the market, so you will be achieving 300 plus FPS on these esports titles on competitive settings, even at 4K resolution. Then on that same 13 game average at 1440p, it was able to average 190 FPS so you can play at 1440p ultra settings any game, so can you at 4K resolution. Overall, you are getting an excellent CPU-GPU combo. And then for you to have an idea on different titles, on Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K high quality settings, remember this is a really high demanding title, the 4080 was able to average over 60 FPS on rasterized performance, so if you turn on the upscaling, you can achieve even more. Then on Watch Dogs Legion at 4K, very high quality, it was able to average 110 FPS at 4K resolution. And on Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 4K, highest quality, it was able to average 116 FPS. So as I said before, you will not have any issues at 4K or 1440p resolution, ultra settings, any title. Another strong point here is that you get AV1 encoding, so for streaming, this PC is going to be amazing as well. And for the rest of the components, we have a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler for the Ryzen 7, which is going to be enough to cool down our CPU. Then for the motherboard, we have the MSI B650 Plus, B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi ATX AM5 motherboard. You get a really solid platform for the future, so this PC you can say it's future-proof as well. And you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory that you can always upgrade down the line if you need more but i think 32 gigs of ram is going to be enough for most people then for the storage we have a 2 terabyte gen 4 ssd in the p41 plus this one is going for 80 bucks and is a ton of storage and for the case we have the fantex eclipse g300a this one comes with one fan on the back and then i also added a kit with three fans that's going for 14 dollars from thermal ride that's going to be needed for more airflow on that front panel Overall, this case has great airflow, a beautiful front mesh panel, and you will have no issues with the cooling system overall. And last but not least, the power supply, we have the Enermax Revolution DF2, 850 watt, 80 plus gold power supply going for $110, and 850 watts is going to be enough for the system, and this unit is AT rated, meaning that it's amazing quality. The total price for this PC is $2,026, so right around $2,000, but I wouldn't recommend you downgrading anything to make it below $2,000 because I think everything is nice as it is and if you downgrade something then you're missing out on some features. The only thing that you can downgrade if you really want to stay under $2,000 is the storage of 1TB Gen 4 SSD but then if you need more storage you will need to buy a new drive anyway. And then if you're going to spend a bit of extra money for $2,050 you get a different case, the Fractal Design Pop Air. This one has really good quality and it comes with three pre-installed fans already so you don't have to go through the process of installing the other fans yourself and they are all the same fans. So I believe this PC is amazing for the price of $2,000. But remember, we are talking about gaming. If you're a content creator and you also want to play at 4K resolution, then you're looking to spend about 250 bucks more to get the i7-14700K, a 360 all-in-one UV cooler, a better motherboard with better audio quality. Then you need a bigger case and a bigger power supply. 
You will have that alternative in the description as well with every other component I've mentioned in case you're a content creator or you really want to do video editing at the next level. And if you have less money and you want to play at 1440p or perhaps you have more money and you want to have even better performance at 4K, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best PC builds of the month. You will have that video in the top right of the screen where I go over every budget and every resolution, 1080p, 1440p and 4K depending on your situation and your needs. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.